Hi there creatives! Welcome to today's tutorial Marvelous Design at 12. I'm thrilled to show you how to animate a trendy cyber style trench coat with the latest features. Just a heads up, this isn't a deep dive, so a basic understanding of Marvelous Design is recommended. For more detailed insights into these tools and technique, check out my previous tutorials on my YouTube channel. Let's jump and explore the dynamic possibilities of Marvelous Designer 12 together. Starting off, we'll trace the pattern on our avatar using one of the fantastic new features introduced in recent Marvelous Designer versions. This game changer has been a time saver for me, as it provides patterns tailored to the correct body shapes and measurements. In the past, I had to take manual measurements spending valuable time constructing a basic top. Now, with this new feature, the process is remarkably quicker, allowing us to jump into animating our cyberstyle trench coat without delays. Now that we have sketched the main patterns on our avatar, it's time to flatten them out and fine-tune the edges. With Marvelous Designer's curve adjusting tools, We'll simplify the design by smoothing out unnecessary points and refining curves for sleeves, collar and more. The goal is to achieve clean, manageable lines with fewer points, enhancing the overall simplicity and ease of working with our cyberstyle trench coat patterns. To bring our design together, we'll use the sewing tool to seamlessly join the front and back pieces. This step is crucial for holding the entire construction in place. Once we have secured the main structure, we'll move on to viewing and adjusting the sleeves. Marvelous Designer's sewing tool will be our ally in creating a cohesive and well-fitted cyber-style trench coat. Now that we have our initial patterns in place, let's tailor them to resemble our reference. I'll take you through each pattern, methodically shaping the cyber style trench coat. Starting with the basics, we'll form the coat's primary structure, emphasizing the triangular silhouette. Moving through each piece deliberately, we'll recreate the distinctive shape step by step.
As we shift our focus to the sleeves, I'm aiming to replicate a smaller triangle in structure. After some experimentation, I've chosen to divide the pieces into two sections for enhanced control and more visually appealing shape. Once satisfied with the overall form, we'll delve into the intricate details of the sleeve. To simplify our pattern and make it more manageable, I have opted for the Merge option. This allows us to streamline the design and enhance control over the intricate details. The Merge option proves to be a handy tool in shaping the cyberstyle trench coat sleeves, providing efficiency in managing the pattern.
With the sleeves complete, let's move on to crafting the French hood. Beginning with the basic rectangle pattern, I'll curve a point at the hat's tip, extrude and pull down sections around the face. After positioning it accurately on the head, we'll embark on shaping the top of the hood to achieve a more refined appearance. Dealing with hair mesh difficulties, I removed it to simplify working on the hood. Once resolved, I reassembled the pattern, adding details and an inner fabric layer for realism. For the fabric properties, I selected the gabardine preset, ideal for achieving the look of classic trench type materials. This choice ensures a realistic and tailored appearance for our cyber-style trench coat.
as we add the finishing touches, let's focus on pockets and that zipper. While adding a zipper is straightforward, getting the precise positioning can be tricky. To simplify this, I temporarily removed all inner lines, making it easier for the program to recognize the correct path. On the right side, we have a set of options to customize the appearance of the zipper. From adjusting the width, to choosing the zipper type, direction, particle distance and more, these options provide flexibility and tailoring the zipper to suit the desired look. In the final step, we'll quadrify the mesh and decrease the particle distance. Opting for a value of 8 strikes a balance, allowing us to capture intricate details while maintaining a manageable level of animation. Finally, it's time to bring our design to life through animation. The process is straightforward and user-friendly. Begin by selecting the available motions pack provided by Marvelous Designer. In the latest version, the developers have tucked away this option behind a small arrow at the bottom of the screen. Once opened, you'll find a drop-down menu where it says Stable and Iterations file. This is precisely what we need. Witness how adjusting these settings significantly transforms the behavior of the fabric, ensuring a more stable and controlled animation. Fantastic! Now let's take our creation to the next level by exporting it for use in Marmosa Toolbag. Head to the export option and choose Alembic file type. While there are various animation file types available, I highly recommend Alembic for its versatility. In the subsequent menu, opt for thin and welded mesh, ensuring the scale is set in centimeters with unified UV coordinates to maintain the UEs. Hit OK to finalize the export. And you're ready to seamlessly integrate your animated cyberstyle trench coat in Marmoset Toolback. Let's explore the possibilities.
And there you have it, a smooth and easy animation with realistic fabric behavior. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this tutorial, stay tuned for more exciting videos. See you in the next one.